I got married that weekend. I got married on the Saturday. When I got to the church, David was milling around outside and um, there was, we could hear sirens in the background. And I'm saying, oh, no, that doesn't sound right. It's, you know, it's too much. Usually you would hear sirens in Brixton, but on that day it was just much too much. When I got out, starting to take pictures and everything, there was police cars flying up and down Brixton Road. Saturday, 5.30 p.m. As Olga and her new husband, David, pose for photographs outside the church on Brixton Road, over 200 youths are attacking police less than 100 yards away. Got into the car and was going towards Brixton Road now to go to the reception and there was lots of police and they just wouldn't let us go through. So um, David and the chauffeur was saying to, to the policeman that no, we have to go straight. So the policeman said, well, yes, okay, but we won't be held responsible if anything should happen to you. There was a lot of people, I mean, lots, it was just like ants. But as we got there and we started to edge the car out, the crowd just parted and we went through. When I was looking from left to right and saying, well, you know, I wonder, you know what's happened? Is it a spillover from last night? What is it? 6 p.m. While the rioting is centered around Railton Road, widespread looting begins in central Brixton by both black and white youths. There are reports of organized looting by white outsiders wearing special gloves for smashing windows. I remember seeing somebody pushing a complete clothes horse of leather coats. I remember it today, it was, it's burnt in my mind. A man was pushing a clothes horse of leather coats and trying on one as he pushed it down the street. He had a big smile on his face. <laughs> there was a shop called Temples. Now every black man used to shop in Temples because at that time, we used to wear farrers, yeah, and Black man used to, obviously, you know, we used to have like kabichi top and farrers and we used to wear all them nice fancy clothes, right? And that was a shop to get it in. Everybody shopped in temples, absolutely everybody. Now, temples wasn't owned by a black man, but no one touched the shop. Everybody, everybody, everybody ran up to the shop, right? When they got up to the shop, everybody told us, no man, can't touch the shop there, that shop there, we buy from that shop there. Suddenly this, this large group of youths came around this corner from Brixton Road into Acre Lane, ran, ran as a group up to uh, what was an electrical shop, uh, just where my car was stuck in traffic. And uh, they put the window in and started taking the stuff out of the, uh, out of the shop. Bearing in mind I was in my own private car in full uniform. So uh, I did what any self-respecting coward would do and took my uniform off so that they wouldn't recognize me and sort of sunk down into the seat and uh, just prayed the, uh, the traffic would move quickly. 